Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the Realm Fairy Vixen here, back again with another video, and we're just going to jump right in. We're almost to the end of box number five. Probably got another couple days to go on it, but here is a very cute little gunmetal, very thin cuff. Kind of filigree, very nice. Eee. And more Mardi Gras beads. <sighs> Me no likey. Uh, more shell, of course. Let me hang these over here. Where they go? Go here. <gasps> so I went to see my silver guy today, but I'm not going to show you any of that just yet. <laughs> oh, here we have one of these Diamond International guys from the cruise lines. Bleh. Nobody cares. You don't care unless you're on the cruise at the moment. Oh, that's kind of cool. Beaded um, headband thingy. Looks like something from the 60s. Somebody made. It's got some staining on it a little bit. Uh, coconut shell and hairy bits. <laughs> um, cork. And some other little bits and bobs. I don't know. Plastique. I think we've had a bigger one of those. Here is a white leather. $39. Tindra. Dick DK. Donna Karen. DK would be Donna Karen. How do you know that? Is it marked? Yes, it is. No, Donna Karen. It's not Donna Karen. What the heck? At least that's not what I'm seeing with my bare eyes. Dyerberg Kern. Ooh. Uh, they don't know who that is, and it sounds sounds kind of. Ex if I haven't heard of it, it's probably expensive because yeah, I don't. <laughs> Oh, that's these guys. Little hematite beads. Oh, they're little tiny ones and they're all over my floor now. Ugh. Okay. We have a twisted bangle. Diamond dozen. Diamond dozen. Oh, look, here's some more. Uh, stone, little stone beads. Oop, here's some more. More garnets. I know where these are going. Somebody's already spoken for them. Oh, here's the other one of those. Remember this angel? With the crystals? Okie dokie. What the heck? This is a thing. Dogs have owners. Cats have staff. Oh, I know who I'm sending that to. <laughs> Rory's mama liked that one. Mama, mama. What the heck? Precious, precious. This is from a brand called Precious. It's flat and very bendable. So you can make it fit you. Thirty-one fifty. Seriously? Okay, well, let's see. It is kind of cool. And it looks to be an artisan piece. That's kind of neat. Me likey. Another clamper in uh, 
a shade of gunmetal out pinky concave oh man it's got some spring to it ooh tell me this is I don't know root beer bakelite bakelite I've not ever gotten bakelite that I know of maybe I'm just missing it but this feels wonderful let me know what you think. I don't remember how to test for that, actually. This is black and clear with three bars across. Four strands. Very sparkly. I might need to keep that for some... Uh, yeah, you know. Crafting purposes. This is gorgeous. It looks like a Whiting and Davis, but it's uh, not marked as such. And it's broken. Is it? Yeah, this needs to be reattached the other way around. I do not see a name on it anywhere. No. It's really cool though. Oh, it feels awesome. Whiting and Davis. Whiting and Davis esque, let's say. Oh, look at this little porcelain. Porcelain? Painted porcelain. Let me see if it's transfer or if it's painted. I'm pretty sure it's transfer. Birdie's making sound. Nope, this one's painted. So that's cool. He's talking. He's talking. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing that. Weirdo. He's a weirdo. Truthfulness, compassion, forbearance. Okay. Hang that on your, uh, Rear view mirror, rear view mirror in your taxi. <laughs> Ooh, that reminds me. Um, oh heck, is this coming apart? Why? Um, somebody left the ends long. That's annoying. Um, yeah, American Gods is coming back on. It's got a new season. Pilgrim. Danish design. So this is a Danish piece. Pretty browns. I like it. I just wish it didn't have all this gobbledygook sticking out everywhere. Earrings. This is a tag from the Pilgrim piece, actually. That goes with the, the bracelet I just had on. Hmm. This is very strange. It's got beads all stuck in it. <laughs> this we had on a card. Uh, it looks like Tory Burch, but it's not. At least it wasn't on a Tory Burch card, but it, that, that really looks like Tory Burch to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Please let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. This is a wired up craziness thing. I don't know. Earring. Okay, what were we doing? We were uh, grabbing the out of here. There's one like that. This is one with fake snake. Very thin. Very thin. Don't need that. Oh my gosh, it's a snowman tree. <laughs> He's cute. Or they're cute, I should say. Don't know what's in here. It's a box. Why not? Oh, 
another one down a moment. That one's bent. Bent. Get bent. Here's another one that's, ooh, that's rubber. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Dee 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 dee. Ow. Stuff poking me. Woohoo. Alright. Let's see if we can't get this thing open without breaking a nail. Do I have. I have a knife here. Maybe that'll work. What the blazes? Aha. It's just a box with nothing in it and some cotton in it it was like crammed full but it has it has a window it's like a little window box hmm hmm I think it had a, a gemstone in it or something cause that's the kind of stuff that kind of box they use for little gemstones Here's a feather earring. Ew. Here is the other piece of that bracelet that is in the craft lot that'll go in. Uh, this is a little barrette that someone. No, nope, made in France. Oh, okay, the mechanism's made in France because this looks like it's hand done. Handmade. Ooh, glass. Nice cobalt glass, guys. And some lamp work. Cute. Whoa, what are you? Teeny tiny little blue. Drop a tea earring. Whoop, there's another earring. Hey, guess what? We already have the other one of these. Excuse me, chains. Get off that one. And this one has all of its stones as well. Oh, except that one. Of course! Of course! Ooh. <laughs> this is huge. Huge, and it's got a uh, vertigree. Jewelry cancer. It's 11 and a half. It's a man's ring. Oh, a very large ladies ring. So we'll take that out because we don't want that to spread to all the other jewelries. And we have another hank of seed beads here. And a pretty cobalt blue. They're a little larger than the last ones. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that color. Wow. Wowie zowie. Clear cobalt. Very nice. Very, very nice. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, more bracelets. There's a little wood, dyed wood one. And this one is really cool, but it needs restrung. It's a stretchy one. Or does it? Does it need restrung or does it just need to be untanga mangled? Tangity mangity mangity ooh. So we have another one of these with the um over here with the um, wire, so that's going to be a huge pain in the tuchus to get undone. Uh. <laughs> oh, come on. Alright, well, we have this earring. Very nice. It has a mark on it. Uh, Liz Claiborne, or... Lauren Conrad or Liz Claiborne, I can't remember which. They're so very similar as far as marks go. Eh, like that. 
so yes yes that's yucky where's the other piece what was I just looking I was just looking at something in here I was going to grab it out oh this this is the other one of those without a hook so that's going in crafts because I already put the other one in crafts so there's a pair of earrings pretty much ooh this is nice that out of the way. Move you back. Move you over here. This is pretty. Ooh, we have a little jack o' lantern hitching a ride with a witch's hat. That's pretty. No, no, no mark on it though. No name. Here's an earring. That is very much out of whack. A little bit. <laughs> um, there's some wood. And there's some seeds. Well, no, those are wood too, I guess. They look nice together. This one is little bits of shell I think maybe whoa look at this thing weighs a ton and it's another one with the this stuff going on very frayed it's a gunmetal color with two oh it's Kenneth Cole see that I like the beads. Don't really like that it's springing, spraying everywhere. And there we go. One of these guys with the pole. Meh. Not really crazy about that. Ooh. This is jingly. Jingly necklace. Jingly necklace. No name, just jingles. Jingle dee, jingle dee. That's very cool. Brass, but it's really bright. It's not. It doesn't look really old either. Definitely made in India. It's the same stuff they make the ankle bracelets out of, but it's a necklace. Here's a broken watch. That's a shame. Nike watch. Faux tortoise shell. Busted. It was a cuff, uh, cuff watch. That's a shame. That'll go in a craft lot. Ooh, there's some. Crackly plastic guys. And it's on a memory wire and it's got drops on either end and this one is hematite and pearl and this one is pearl on pearl mm -hmm. Ooh, there we go. oh look there's another one of those so this was actually a set of three because I have two small ones like this and then one with slightly larger beads they're plastic but you know whatever they're probably one of those ones with the um, with the ribbon tied around them. You know what I mean. Ooh, this is cute. Chain and little bubbles, bubbly bubbles. Nice. Let's flip that one. Eh. Eh. Come on. It doesn't want to lay right. It seems like it should be an ankle bracelet because of the way those dangle, but I don't think it's long enough. Maybe for a kid, but. Teeny tiny. And we have a big knot. 
big knot. Big, 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 big knot. And we're at 19, so here's some more. There's your bump. Uh, here's some more Madi Grabids in a star, red stars and silver stars. I wonder if there's a blue star, because it's not Mardi Gras, it's Porta July. Oh my gosh. Please, I just want this, just want these out of there, please, please, please. Mother. Mother McCree. Well then, I guess I won't get them out. We will, uh... Return to that after I'm done the video. I would like to thank you all for being here. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the down there. If you see something you can't live without, please leave a timestamp in the comments below. With a timestamp of the item in which you are interested. If you would rather, you could send me an email with that same information. Uh, my email is in my description. And if you haven't bought from me before, include your name, your address, your YouTube name, and your PayPal email so that I can put your YouTube name and your name name together and get you invoiced with your PayPal email, email, <laughs> email, <laughs> email, and then get your items sent out to you. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And be yourself, because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.